Alright. Hey Marines. Hey Spartans. It's me again, Marine Man. And, um, lately, uh, the zappy noise of Doom has been screwing with me for the past two hours. Again. Um, I tried to get rid of it. I found out launching Google Chrome and keeping it up makes it zap less. I don't know. I don't understand how that's working, but it is. Uh, I'm just gonna float with it. Um, so, anyways, last time in the junior UNSC, uh, Tony he found this chick in the alleyway that creeped him out and stuff. He ran home. That's basically it. Anyways. Also, I have to tell you guys, um, and zapping a lot, um, that it's kind of hard to read this time around. Um, apparently, I don't know. Anyways, chapter 9, Lover's Day. It was Valentine's Day, and I had nothing to give Kendra for. I did my daily routine, then I was stopped by my mom. She gave me a piece of candy. Hey, your sister says happy Valentine's Day. Really? Well, tell us said the same to her. Oh, well, I went on to the Pelican stop. I was again, alone, there, alone Spartan. It was dark, very dark. Nobody was st there still. I held the candy in my hands. It was for Kendra. I have to give this to Kendra. It would show how much I would like her. The others arrived, the Pelican landed in the park. Then we headed off to school. It was fourth period. I walked up to her. I could not breathe. Kendra, I said in a very light tone. Kendra, I said a little bit loud. I took off my helmet. Kendra! She looked over and then up at me. I held out my arm with a fist. And I let loose with a fist and the candy fell out of my hands onto her desk. Oh, thank you, she said. You're welcome. I said I said it with my voice cracked. And then I went back to my seat. Staff Sergeant Meyer walked in and started class. Okay, she walked over to her computer, which was Windows 56 space. She pulled up a picture of surprisingly Master Chief. Who knows who this is? Me and Kendra shot our hands up. Kendra, she pointed it to her. Damn, I whispered. Jordan, who was a private, whispered to me. What's your fucking language? That's the Master Chief, Kendra said. Correct. What UNSC rank was he? Kendra said nothing. Um, I raised my hand. Yes, Tony? Mari called. Well, he was a petty officer, Master Chief, which gives him his name, Master Chief. Mari shook her head. Yes. Good. Everybody can tell he is a Spartan. At age six, he was kidnapped and trained. And also trained a hundred other boys. Who's she? Another student asked. Mari pulled up another picture. It was Captain Halsey. But, I heard faintly from Kendra's voice. She was a person that did good, but punished for kidnapping. She created 200 plus Spartans for ending all wars on Earth. Instead, they were sent to harvest and reach. And they all died except the chief, who is now MIA. I believe he is dead. Don't say that, Ian Kendra said. What if he is? That means Tony is the only Spartan, the student claimed. No, they, I got un interrupted. No, no other Spartan has been made. Tony, none, Maya said. I was freaking out. The room filled up with uproar. I knew for a fact Chief is not dead, but everybody just kept arguing. Kenzo was yelling at her friend Jacob, who was a staff sergeant. Staff Sergeant Meyer was trying to keep order. Wait! The class was silent. Tony, where did you get your armor? Meyer asked. Halt. 
It's classified. I said firmly. I bet it's fake, Jordan said. I got mad. I looked at him. I threw off my helmet. And then I gave him a death stare. I picked up his stuff and put it on the ground. I pulled him out of the seat. I jumped over it and opened the window. Then I picked up his desk and out the window it went. It bounced from the ground to the parking lot, about 25 to 30 meters away. And I picked up Jordan and put him in the seat behind his old one. It's real, I said. He took a seat. They all stared at me for like 30 seconds. When I was panning the room, I saw Ken just shaking. I got the armor from Dr. Halsey. Then I went, then the bell rang. I was the only one that got up and left the room. Alright, so that time around, so I've been zapping, like, uh, I'm moder I'm like, moderizing it, I don't know what you want to call it, I, but I can see it zapping, like, the levels and stuff, I'm sorry for that, I tried my best, I know it's constantly doing it, um, tried once Google Chrome to, like, reduce it, but, there's nothing else I can do, anyways, so that whole bit there was basically saying, yeah, Bring Man, or a Tony, is the only Spartan on Earth, or ever, at that point in time. So, yeah, that's about it. Chapter 10. It can't be. Kendra's point of view. I look at my stuff, then I thought of Halsey, and I picked up my stuff and ran to the depressed Spartan. Tony! Hey! He didn't hear me. I walked downstairs to my next class. The whole class, I couldn't stop thinking about him. But surely he was thinking about me. Damn, the only Spartan. I fucking doubt it. Tony knows it. Chief is alive. He even claimed that John's alive. Halsey knows it too. Never underestimate John. But, I, I don't know. What if? What if he was? Damn, I gotta stop thinking about this. After that class, I ate the candy that Tony gave me. And after school, my mom picked me up. I stayed silent. So how was school? She pulled out a lot. It was fine. I still was eating my candy that Tony gave me. Who's that from? Friend. I said frankly. Mom just looked at me. Um, okay. We got flowers from your other friends. Cool. I replied. And there was silence. She turned onto the street where the house was. When we parked the, the stuffed candy wrappers out of my pants due to lack of pants. Pockets. I was wearing spandex so the wrappers would not fall through. I saw the Pelican boy flying overhead. She and they were going to high school. So did you know that Spartan boy was on the news last night? I did not want to talk about Tony because I felt bad for him. Kendra, are you okay? Yeah, I looked out the window. Bad day, huh? Mom said. It was okay. It was the Spartan boy, wasn't it? I told you Halsey gave him that damn armor. She screamed. But she, she's in jail. Don't give me that bullshit. She lowered her voice and said, I told you not to back talk me. Mom, she did give him the armor. She was at the school and gave him the suit. I said, I was trembling again. So at this point, underground, oh, not underground. At this point, I don't understand how Halsey was able to give him the armor if she was locked up. We have to tell your dad when we get home. I pulled him on her shirt and pointed to the sky. The pelican was following us, or as it seemed to me, 
they flew off back to the convoy at the high school. Tony is the last Spartan, supposedly. Thing. There we go. And mom said, this can't be. We pulled up home. So, basically it's a conversation between Kendra and her mom discussing about the Spartan thing again. This time not getting like shoved out the door, the corridor. So, let's see, two chapters, two more chapters.